As I'm hoping to leave Pennsylvania as soon as possible, I wanted to show you something that I've never showed you before, before I left. I wanted to show you where I'm really from. And it's not a spaceship, <laughs> it's actually an old 1800s farmhouse in Pennsylvania. Look at all these cool Ray-Bans. They're just peeling just a little bit. Well, I did uh, 40 cans of beets. I'm gonna make, tomorrow I'm gonna make beet uh, wine. I looked the recipe up. And Even though my family it. is quite like, private, I wanted to show you my childhood home and as well as my father and his homesteading talents. There's a lot of interesting things that he does as well as the rest of my family. And I think you may find it interesting if you're into that. This is the main room and the living room of the house. It is heated with a potbelly stove in the corner over there, or that's how it was heated when we were growing up. There was no insulation, so it got really cold and drafty. But this is this house is from the 1800s, maybe like 1860, and it used to be an inn. There's the love of my life. Hello. It's been a while. You look the same. Still not a talker. <laughs> you you interrupting my romantic moment. <laughs> no, I don't drink. I'm now gonna show you the upstairs, which is where I spent most of my time in my room. I can't show you my room, but I'll show you what the upstairs is like. The downstairs was cold, but the upstairs was way colder. There's no heat upstairs. Mm. Can't get in my old room. I'll show you my sister's room. This lady always haunted us. I don't know who she is, but she's very old. This is my, uh, my oldest sister's room. The house is decorated very Victorian. I guess it's kind of normal to me. I mean, my mom was very into the Victorian era when she had me. Ooh. Obviously, my name is Victoria. <laughs> so my first, my very first room that I ever had is this lower, oh, it's locked. Bolts on everything. Since I homeschooled myself, I was a home a lot more than all the other kids, and I didn't have any friends, and I never really left the property. So I think that's why I love to travel so much. How do you open it? I used to um, have this room for my. I used to go in it's here. It's a mess. It's, still yeah. it's, it's for, always uh, been messy. For, uh, eBay junk in here, and I, there's stuff I put in here. So I used bags. to. I used to put my computer back there. And sit in there and write. Do you know that? The well, one it was probably yeah, my, my big computer. No, I cleaned it all out. And I use this yeah. as my computer. <laughs> we, we, we tried to find every small space we could. It just crawled into it. Yeah, I put my big. It was, it was a big struggle because there was no there was no outlet in there, so I had to run an extension cord. <laughs> and I had this big computer, and it was not comfortable. But in there. Yeah, in that closet. <laughs> I found every small place to crawl into to make some sort of safe place for myself. I would just kind of create my own travels around the house and the well, property. I used that here, uh, creeper there to creep it all the way over here and I had to take the door, open it up and take that piece off. But there's all my beets. I, I, That's a lot of nice canning. Yeah, there's the beets. That's a lot of canning. These ones here. You could survive for like three years. They're not too, I don't trust them, so I'm gonna right. use that for my beet, I'm gonna make my, for my beet wine. I, I always come down here and check my... Whose is this one? Leah's. So Tanzia and I in here, back in this corner in the basement, it's very moldy down here, but we um, had a little candle business. It wasn't quite like this growing up. Um, my dad decorated it to his liking. He collects a lot of things, um, pretty much everything, just a lot of things. He had a phase where he collected a lot of sausage grinders or meat grinders, so he has a lot of those grinders. 
I mean, I don't know. Nobody can use that many grinders, but. So growing up, the house was peeling white paint. Now it's recited. I don't really want to show the whole property or whatever, but I'll show you our trampoline, which we spent a lot of time on. This trampoline is quite overgrown now. Spent so much time on. And then this pond, we, you know, we didn't care about any fish guts or anything on the bottom. We just swim in it. We would sometimes even take the mud and put it like in our bathing suits and pretend we're fat. <laughs> I thought you guys were supposed to be shucking corn. You little rascals. You're out here stealing the berries. <gasps> Tizzy, that hit me. Yeah. Why does it feel so hot and like crunchy here? <laughs> I spent a lot of the lone time coming outside and daydreaming and climbing trees. I don't know if this is even interesting to anybody, but I figured it's probably not because nobody cares as much as, you know, I would. The funny part about it is that I'm really not a country person. Like I really prefer the city. None of my family is like that except for me. It's strange. There's a lot of corn in Pennsylvania in the end of summertime. That's when the corn season is. Here's the corn. I used to be really, really good at the clarinet. Like, like the music teacher said, I could go pro. No, it is. He's actually like, wow, you're actually really good. I got tired of falling into it. Tell me about the corn smut soup. It's corn smut soup. Okay, what's in it? Okay, I put on, I put a little bit of onions. I put two little ears of corn because it is corn smut soup. So, mm -hmm. and they got the corn smut that ha gives a little bit of definition to it because it is corn smut. Gives it the trademark of it. And uh, I, I cut up the squash cubic potatoes right here. You want the fresh ones that, that I had? I, these aren't store bought. And the, and and it's in Mexico, it's a delicacy. Yeah. For thousands of years, they, they did that. And I was looking on the internet, and they actually these restaurant owners and stuff they want to they want to be able to find some way to produce it. Uh, this well, is my garlic uh, powder I made. I put it in a container from Aldi's after the pepper was gone. So I dried that, and that's my whole that's fresh garlic. What is your spine binoculars? Uh, that's my bird watching. Oh. Squirrel. Do you watch a lot of animals? Squirrel. Oh, you're recording, record, you're recording your recorders. The recorders, they're normal. People are gonna say gross. What is it? Pickles. What's the stuff on top? I mean, that's just the stuff Ew, that floats. I say gross. No, once you clean it, it's salt. It's all it is salt oh, water. It's just salt. Yeah, it's you just salt and water. cucumbers in there? Yeah. Now I got a di I got a. You ever eat dill pickles? Yeah, I've eaten dill pickles. Well, you slice them, put them in the jars. You I didn't know, know you ate them that way. Well, there's different ways. People oh. cheat. They just boil them down. Oh. But this is the old-fashioned way. You That's put grape fashion. leaves in there. See the grape oh. leaves? You put grape leaves? I didn't... I but didn't... see, they're not green anymore. Those That's are pickled. Big... Is that from your garden? or is that... Yeah, those are from my garden. There's some more right there. Another batch. That I so this is... Our meal is like corn and corn and corn. It's really funny because corn smut grows on corn and then you put corn in it. And then we're eating corn on the side. <laughs> so that's what you get around here. Corn, 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 corn. I got a couple. So if you, how close can you get without them stinging you? You can get pretty close. I mean, they're not really, you're not, like I said, as long as you're not banging on it. Like I said, I, when I take the mower through here, the, the rumbling of the mower makes the whole box vibrate. So that was driving them crazy. So I went through one pass and I go, well, I'll let them go move something else and come back around after they die down a little bit. Oh, that's a beautiful one right there, Tori. Right here. Look. Right here. No, oh, this one's redder. Doesn't matter how red, it's how big it is. Okay, can you get it for me? Oh, yeah. Because a lot of these reddest apples, the better apple. Uh uh. Now, what you do is you just is scrape the bark off, let it dry, and you got yourself a toothpick or a pin. Yeah. I think uh, oh, you can make tea out of some of this stuff too. I mean, the bark is a little bit. It's got big peppers on them. I hope you enjoyed that quick glance into where I grew up and also my dad and what he's into. 
I'm trying to live in the moment as much as possible and appreciate everything, even if it's not my preferred place to be. Thank you for coming home with me. I hope you're staying extraterrestrial, and I will see you in the next video.